want to do today is talk about a nucleotide and then just review the structure. Um, so remember that DNA has four different nucleotides. Um, it has an adenine, a thymine nucleotide, guanine nucleotide, adenine nucleotide, and cytosine nucleotide. So how do you tell the nucleotides apart? Okay, remember it's the nitrogenous bases okay, that distinguish each nucleotide. Okay, now in class we've been talking about how DNA is made and how RNA is made. But what's the differences? Okay, so let's go ahead and let's talk about those. Differences. Now, okay, so just to recap, okay, so we have guanine, right? Right now it's a DNA nucleotide because there's no oxygen. But to turn it into an RNA nucleotide, those molecules have that extra oxygen, okay? And so that makes this RNA nucleotide, so we would use these to make RNA. So now let's talk about the adenine nucleotide, okay? So here is an adenine nucleotide. As you can see, it has the, the nitrogenous base adenine, the deoxyribose sugar, and the phosphate group. If we're looking at the one, two, second carbon, that oxygen is missing. So that's how we know this is a DNA nucleotide, all right? To make it an RNA nucleotide, that oxygen has to be there, right? So now that that oxygen is there, this sugar is called ribose, okay? And here's that nucleotide. Notice, it looks exactly like the other one, except it has that extra oxygen. So this nucleotide will be used to make RNA, okay? The same concept applies for cytosine. Cytosine, this is right now a DNA nucleotide because it's missing the oxygen. It's, this is the oxyribose, it's missing without the oxygen. But if it had the, oh, the extra oxygen, okay, now the sugar is ribose and it is a cytosine nucleotide. So I have an example here, right, where we have, mm -hmm, this is the cytosine nucleotide. Okay, notice it's missing that oxygen right here, but when we compare it, okay, with the RNA nucleotide, notice it has the two oxygens there. Okay, so RNA nucleotide, DNA nucleotide. All right, so the final nucleotide that we need to discuss is a thymine nucleotide. Now, obviously thymine, looks like that, we went, we went over it in class in terms of its structure, okay, and the thing is, this is a DNA nucleotide, okay, only, okay, so thymine does not, okay, exist like this, okay, that does not occur, that does not exist, all right, okay, it always just, that's how you're going to find this molecule, okay, so what are we going to use to replace thymine, well, that's where uracil comes in, okay, as and notice, okay, here is a thymine nucleotide, okay, looks like this. Now, to turn this into a uracil nucleotide, it's really simple, okay? It literally, one hydrogen, take, you know, these three atoms off, so carbon, two hydrogens, we take that off. And now, okay, that turned this nitrogenous base from thymine to now uracil, okay? To complete this nucleotide, Remember, we need ribose, that's its sugar. So that's when we're going to need the extra oxygen. Okay, and here we go. Add that extra oxygen. Okay, add the second carbon. And now we have just created a uracil nucleotide. But if you take a close look, it's not that much different from thymine, okay? And so that's why RNA and DNA are both nucleic acids because they're built from the, from the similar building blocks, okay? Nucleotides. But at the end of the day, okay, remember, on the lab practical, okay, how do you tell a DNA nucleotide from an RNA nucleotide? Well, RNA nucleotides have the two oxygens, DNA nucleotides, only have the one oxygen, okay? So hopefully this helps. Okay, see you in class. All right, guys, so we just got done explaining the, four, the different uh, structure of nucleotides. Remember, RNA nucleotides have two hydroxyl groups or two OHs, okay? DNA nucleotides have one OH, okay? So that's how you tell DNA from RNA nucleotides. So how many nucleotides, how many different nucleotides exist? OK, 
okay? Well, remember, there's one adenine nucleotide for DNA, and there's one adenine nucleotide for RNA, so that's two. Okay, this is a cytosine nucleotide. Notice it has the two OHs, so it's an RNA. Here's my cytosine nucleotide for DNA, right? So now we're one, two, three, four. Okay, here is my guanine nucleotide for DNA, because it has one OH. Okay, and here's my guanine nucleotide for RNA, because it has the two OHs. So now we're up to six. And remember, okay, DNA uses thymine. Okay, so this is my thymine nucleotide, and this is used to make DNA. And its cousin, uracil, okay, which is used to build RNA, is the eighth. So all together, okay, remember there's four nucleotides that we need to build DNA, and there's four nucleotides we need to build RNA. All right, hopefully you learned something, and I'll see you guys in class. All right, see you next time.